Last time we saw that we can log in a user and we tell them welcome by their username. So in this video, I want us to now use dynamic data for the current logged in user here. And also basically be able to filter these to do's for the current logged in user. So what we want to do is first we want to put the current logged in username here. So to do that, we're going to go to our header. So we're going to go to header. So apparently what we are doing is we are showing this create to do even when the user is not logged in. Now that we have the authentication, we can move it in the if user is authenticated block. And now here where I have user X, we can substitute it for the current user name. So that's going to be request dot user username. So now if we save and reload, you see that now we have this. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need to do is we're going to be connecting a user to our model. So previously, if you go to our models.py for the to do, so that's going to be to do models. You see, we commented out the owner field. So when it comes to the owner field, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete out the migrations and rerun everything afresh. So here we can delete this. Let's also delete the database. It's going to get recreated. Let's also delete the migrations for the authentication. This is going to be the one. Let's remove it. And now here, we can now make migrations. Okay. Then now, I believe we had deleted the one for the to-do. Didn't see it getting created again. Oh, 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 oh. This is too bad. We need the migrations folder here. So we just made a mistake there. So let's create it. New file. Migrations. We need this by default. So let's rerun again. Make migrations. It's going to create it to migrate. Okay. Let's run back our server. And everything should still be okay. So let's come here. So you see that we are accessing this this URL even when we are not logged in, but don't worry more about that, we will fix it. So here let's create a user. It's gonna be some user password. Okay, let's log in. And now we are logged in. So let's go ahead and create. So to create a to-do, we want to be adding the current logged in user as the owner of this to-do. Okay, so we're gonna go to the views for the to-do. So over here, where we create the to-do, that's gonna be in create to-do here. We want to say, before we save it, we want to say to-do.owner equals request dot user. Okay. So now that we have this, that's gonna be able to add that owner as the, the current logged in user as the owner of this to-do before it saves. And uh, when we are editing, there's not, there's no much to worry here because we are already editing the existing to do, so we don't have to reset to set back the owner. Okay, so the another thing I want to do is whenever we are showing to dos, so over here, I want to filter by the current logged in user. So here we can say filter. So I want to filter by owner. So the owner is going to be request dot user. Okay. So now if we come back here and refresh, you see that we can't see. And if we create one, test. Oh yeah, so now we have an issue coming on here. So we see that down here, <laughs> they are suggesting us which owners we which owner we should add to this user. But that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is we don't want to be supplying the owner and we want it to be supplied from the view. So what you can do is um, you can go to the forms.py and instead of us supplying all, here we can sub we can supply basically the title, description, and is completed. All right. So now if we come back here, refresh, you said that is gone. So let's create a new one. Let's just save, and you see that it's created and it's here. And when we come here, it is on there. And now these are being filtered by for the current logged in user. So yeah. So that's gonna do it for now. So in the next one. I'm going to come in and we're going to now work on logging out a user. So if the video helped you, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll talk to you later.